If they were giving out awards for trying to do the greatest amount of good in the smallest amount of space, Sean Condon and Lauren Berkovich might take home top prize. For here, in this downtown east side office, barely big enough for a quick pirouette, the two are trying to change some lives for the better. Sean through the megaphone, a Vancouver street newspaper, distributed by the needy, and Lauren, whose efforts through pins and needs, punches out buttons to bring in some badly needed dollars as well. What we try to do at Megaphone is the same thing that Pins and Needs try to do, is that provide a way for people to get involved with these issues and get something out of it, and get something really positive and beautiful out of it. The concept of Megaphone, the street newspaper of community contributions, is in play in cities around the world. The 2,000 copies of each issue in Vancouver are distributed by around 30 vendors who pay for the paper and sell it for a small profit. For them, there is satisfaction and purpose and meaning in the sale. People often write checks to organizations and they send it off and they don't maybe necessarily see anything in return. But with Megaphone and, and Pins and Needs, they get something and they can show it off and they can show that they have supported these issues. For Lauren, who started making buttons on a whim as a way of simply supporting the Winter Olympics while raising funds for the very people it might displace, the reaction has been an eye-opener. So people have really supported it and we've made buttons for nonprofits and organizations around town ranging from bands to poetry nights to storytelling nights to improv groups. Yeah. Um, and it's been a really kind of community effort, which has been amazing. Megaphone and Pins and Needs complement each other. They are street-level, direct action initiatives that put something tangible in the hands of those who need it most. Historically, buttons have been used for, you know, political statements, anti-war statements, yeah. um, you know, civil rights statements. And I think I'm just trying to carry that tradition and 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 kind of have a voice through one-inch buttons. It's a really small item, but if you get handed a button at an event or a launch or, or a music concert, you put it on your bag or your sweater, and a lot of people leave them there mm. for years. I bet you see buttons in your sleep. I do, I do. I dream buttons.